I want to say uh, several words about uh, first um, period in uh, Gelfand activity at the representation theory. Uh, it was Gelfand Neumann uh, cycle of works on uh, unit representation of complex missimbolic groups. Uh, I was happy to knew uh, Mark Aron Schneider, outstanding mathematician and a very uh, nice personality. So it, we need to start from 1947. Uh, in this year, uh, there were three different publications about unitary representation of Florence Group. Uh, papers of Valentin Barman, Gilfant Neimark, and Harishandra. The uh, address was clear. Uh, it was physical uh, hope uh, to do uh, something important for non relativist uh, quantum mechanics. Uh, also, of course, uh, SL2, its simplest uh, semi simple Lie group. But I think that physical connection was uh, uh, the first. It was some things which. Uh, uh, well, before, uh, it was, for example, work Gilfan Trykov about completeness of unit representations for uh, locally low compact uh, groups. Then it was there were um, examples of Dirac and Wigner of unit representation of Lorenz group. Uh, but it's clear, uh, in particular from Barman's uh, paper, that uh, consensus was uh, that probably uh, it's very difficult or impossible to give complete classification. Uh, Barman uh, referred on Wigner, uh, who thought that it must involve a very difficult or again maybe unsolvable problem of uh, John Neumann's factors, and uh, so uh, first thing which uh, we can see at least in publication uh, Barman and Gilfand Neumann, it big it's a big surprise that problem is uh, could be solved, and the answer is very explicit, very simple, as wrote Gilfand Neumann. Uh, formula looks simpler than in uh, four finite dimensional representations. Uh, of course, it had no sense to discuss the gravity problem, but uh, anyway, it has a sense to compare a little uh, different. Uh, uh, different uh, uh, paper. Uh, in paper, uh, Bergman, uh, uh, there was considered the real group SL2R, and as a result, he discovered a representation of discrete series. Of course, a very spectacular discovery. Uh, all, all uh, three, uh, in three publications uh, were given nice explicit formula and proof uh, infinitesimal completeness of uh, unit uh, of uh, this list of unitary representation. Uh, but I believe uh, the Gilfant and Neumann uh, went much more, more far. Uh, they constructed surprisingly a full theory. Uh, all uh, possible elements already there. Zonal spherical function, definition of uh, character as uh, distribution, formula, formulas, well type formulas for values of characters on regular elements, and finally 
so the proof, um, uh, global proof of completeness, and what looks uh, as most important, Planck-Scheil formula. Uh, analog of Planck-Scheil formula for uh, Lorentz group inversion of uh, non-commutative non Fourier integral. It's surprising computation, uh, about probably 10 page, which, uh, as um, uh, wrote Mautner in the uh, uh, in the uh, in the report about uh, uh, latest uh, later paper of Harishandri with more conceptual proofs, uh, he mentioned uh, he said that. Uh, proof of uh, it was impossible to go through proof of Irfant and Nyman. But now we understand that maybe it was maybe most uh, conceptual uh, proof. And uh, then just in uh, three years, Gilfant and Nyman published the book about a representation of. Uh, classical uh, unit representation of classical group. Basically, it was a publication just uh, for uh, basically, it was uh, most part of the book. It was about complete linear group S and C. Uh, but what as a group, apparently, it was done very uh, fast. Uh, from optimistic ideas that you can just restrict representation of uh, of a, a linear group on symplectic and orthogonal. In many uh, points it works, in some it gave wrong uh, result, but anyway it was already uh, on the periphery of book. So it was heroic three years between as we uh, to uh, set uh, then between uh, red paper and blue book, red uh, uh, red of print of paper, in front Neimark and blue book. It's this book about classical groups. It was the end of a uh, very important period, 1950. Uh, by the way, in this point, Gelfand and Neymark finished collaboration in the representation theory. It was fantastic, very productive uh, tandem. The book, for example, contains a uh, very enormous analytical tension, which I didn't met in later publication of Gelfand and representation. Mm. But it was end. Um, I, I I can imagine how exhausted they were at this point. Uh, I uh, my opinion is that basically the be uh, the all principal point of theory of uh, unit representation of semi simple complex group were built in this point. Uh, of course, natural generality is arbitrary semi-simple complex group, and Gifant understood it, but it was his uh, picture of world that he preferred to work on uh, specific uh, examples. Uh, it, I understand, since I remember different time, I understand how change a point of view. And I, uh, of course, Harishan to finish theory of semi simple representation, semi simple sim uh, complex group, it was very professional, very important work, which did Harishandra, but uh, the principal contribution so far was uh, for Gilfand and uh, Neiman. Uh, for a real group, uh, it was not the case that it's uh, sufficient to understand everything for SLN. Uh, I suspect for a while uh, Gilfand hope on it, and but it did it didn't realize, 
and uh, his contribution in a series of real groups was much more fragmentary, but, but as usual, brilliant and important. I would be uh, said uh, so a couple of words. I'm sure it was a lot of uh, discussion about the relation between Gilfand and Neumann. Uh, I remember that at Moscow, uh, uh, Gilfand not was not completely happy uh, how uh, Harishandra did uh, references on his work. He never said clearly that idea to define characters as uh, as uh, distribution. It was Gilfand Neimark idea. Uh, maybe, uh, we can give a couple more examples. Uh, I don't know how Chandra, when he wrote about Briar decomposition, could miss that. Uh, Briar decomposition for uh, blue uh, book uh, were at uh, for uh, for SLNC already contained uh, at Gilfand Neimer blue book. Uh, I understand that their styles were very very different, uh, uh, absolutely different style. Uh, it's uh, for Richard, it was not easy to read about it. Uh, the same was uh, when uh, Richandra uh, started to make systematic publication about real group. Gilfand was already not too much in all whole uh, area of uh, unit representation. But what I want to mention, since I was witness. Uh, first and probably more or less probably unique uh, personal contact between Gilfant and Hrishandra it happened in 1966 on Mathematical uh, Congress and uh, Moscow uh, Gilfant asked uh, Kirillov and me met Harishandra at the airport, we were happy to do it for, uh, for, for uh, it was personally for us also. And I was, uh, Gilfant, uh, I could see uh, tension and uh, cave full expectation, expectation of uh, Harishandra uh, for meeting with Gilfant. Uh, but uh, as soon as they met, they met uh, immediately after arriving, and uh, I think uh, that uh, at least half of time, probably more with uh, of Harishandra's time at Moscow, he spent with talk uh, with Gilfant. It was absolutely friendly, absolutely open a discussion. They easily understand. Uh, understand one another, uh, and was uh, uh, a meeting of two great mathematicians who uh, have uh, what to say one another and want to knew from uh, 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 from another. Uh, uh, What happened in uh, 1950, I said already about the end of communication, of uh, collaboration with Gilfant. Uh, then uh, he, Gilfant, started to uh, work with, uh, uh, simultaneously at, uh, at many different directions, including, for example, and representation. He, uh, started to look for connection with uh, discrete group and aftermorphic function, starting from work uh, with Famine. Soon uh, he started to work with Petersky Shapira, and uh, arithmetical direction was most, uh, more and more important for him. Uh, other people who know it better, it better will talk about it. Mm. Uh, with Garay, uh, uh, it was no question that it was time to uh, uh, to work systematically on uh, real groups. Uh, 
uh, in this uh, in the usual style, Gifant and uh, Graif started from uh, linear group. They did very nice work, uh, but uh, they didn't move uh, more uh, far. Uh, most natural problems about discrete uh, series. Uh, Gifant knew about galomorphic discrete series. Uh, um, Harishandra uh, uh, found systematic exposition of this series. Uh, but uh, in this direction, they didn't move uh, too far. Too far. Uh, found, uh, um, Chandra found on where eventually he uh, 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 constructed, he also started to move uh, not only in the direction of real group and PAD group. One uh, idea which they probably share is important problem of spectral theory of decomposition on irreducible representation, different version of Blanchard formulas. Uh, it was in the area um, uh, in the area of Gilfan Graf interests and Hrishandra interests. Uh, uh, Hrishandra eventually gave much more simple version of Planchural formula for um, classical groups uh, instead uh, very complicated uh, proof in, uh, in 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 blue books, and then uh, Gilfand uh, and Greif uh, in uh, at uh, fifty three, I believe. Uh, gave uh, amazing uh, proof uh, of Blanchard formula using uh, uh, using Marcel Ries ideas about degrees of uh, quadratic forms. Uh, I, it, by the way, I, it, I, it's only a rational uh, estimate of Arishandra of Gilfan's uh, contribution, which I saw. Uh, uh, in publication, he wrote about uh, a beautiful application, uh, this, uh, 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 this uh, way of obtaining formula, which by the way also could be work in real case. Uh, then it was uh, famous C function of Harishandra uh, work. Uh, for um, uh, Riemann symmetric functions uh, with C function, and uh, eventually, when Harishandra was at Moscow, he had uh, strong interest to our um, product formula with Friedrich Kripilevich, and it was uh, one of his uh, ba uh, basic uh, ideas for general formula for 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 a um, formula for real uh, semi simple Lie group Gifant uh, continue to uh, think about different uh, think and um, in uh, 1959 uh, uh, in 1959 he uh, together with Greif, uh, can, uh, uh, build a uh, background for so-called integral geometry, methods of integral geometry or spherical transform uh, for uh, uh, a spherical transform on uh, semi-simple group and homogeneous uh, spaces. Uh, I wrote uh, many uh, things about it 
it's interesting that it basically appears as from observation uh, of first proof in the uh, Planchard formula for uh, Lorentz group uh, at uh, the paper of 1947. It was one of fantastic, fantastic story. Uh, they look, he looked at old formulas. Uh, the nature of uh, which he could not uh, understand uh, more than uh, 10 years, and he found that there is the geometrical interpretation uh, that basically it's a Radon uh, type inversion for um, integral transform when you integrate over or recycle on a Lorentz group which can be a set of this recycle is line which intersect uh, hyperbola. I inspect that Victor Gamin will, will talk about uh, this uh, remarkable observation. Um, it immediately gave uh, the way for general consideration. Um, and it was something... Uh, from my point of view, it was, in a sense, returning to Cartan ideas of highest weight. The idea is that space of horospheres of on, um, for complex uh, group or uh, for um, Riemann, uh, 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 or non-Riemann symmetric spaces, uh, um, they are orbits of maximal unipotential group on symmetric spaces. And the space of free spheres is uh, uh, what Gefant and Graef called uh, basic affine space. It's uh, a space, uh, a gamogenic space, which has fibering over flag manifolds. Unfortunately, there acts also uh, Cartanian subgroup and X commutating with action of basic group G. So, and if we decompose uh, over, uh, over this uh, group, over this action of A, uh, we obtain uh, realization of, uh, of uh, we obtain the realization of uh, unitary uh, b um, principle series, in complex case, principle series of uh, unitary representation. So it's, in, on other uh, language, it's uh, Borel about theorem about realization uh, representation in uh, line bundles on flag manifolds. So in a sense, it's very small suggestion to work not with black manifold, but with uh, some total spaces over them, uh, or spherical spaces. And uh, they have uh, a billion uh, to connection in analysis between these two cases, just a billion harmonic analysis. But if you work with this bigger space, uh, with three spheres, you have uh, geometrical possibilities which you have when you look just on flag manifold. You can consider a radon type transform integration of three spheres, and all only it's similar transform, it has similar inversion formula which gives you uh, uh, which gives you uh, inversion, a uh, planchard form. Fortunately, uh, not this idea was not popular. Uh, it was one of Gilfand's favorite idea, which was not too popular uh, between uh, between uh, expert in the presentation series on one serious reason. Uh, it didn't work immediately for real group. For example, uh, in uh, spectre, uh, hemispherical transform in real group or real uh, pseudo, pseudo remaining symmetric spaces, it has kernel. Just uh, 
discrete series representation. Just uh, discrete series representation. And what to do with them? It was not complete. We spent uh, uh, a time uh, with Gilfand uh, try to, uh, he was sure that uh, he, uh, it's again, it's example, he, he was sure and at harmony of world. It cannot be that something uh, which so perfectly work uh, for human symmetric pace, for complex group, cannot work in general case. Uh, it's what I call Gilfan's optimism. Uh, and uh, uh, I could be say something about it. I several years uh, work on them, and my idea was again uh, that uh, you need to go in complex geometry in complex analysis. Uh, specifically, uh, you need to work uh, with not real ori spheres, but with complex ori spheres. For example, for SL two R, you can consider. A, uh, complex ori spheres uh, for SL2C and instant integration to take function of SL2R and take instead integration and, and uh, uh, convolution with delta function to take convolution with appropriate type uh, Cauchy kernel which has singularity on these ori spheres. And it immediately gives you operator from uh, on galomorphic discrete series and in context of some uh, Cauchy form, a multidimensional Cauchy formula, you can completely reconstruct uh, SL2A. Okay, it's again not an end of series. Uh, but uh, it's turned out then you need to uh, to work already not with uh, uh, comp all just complex spheres, but with some uh, they degenerate version, and you will construct uh, hemispherical transform from function of two debug homology. Uh, but it's not only for this uh, talk. Uh, I, uh, uh, I'm sorry that on some personal reason I could not uh, to, uh, to be with you or to uh, prepare a more careful talk, uh, but uh, I would be very glad to, uh, to see, uh, to uh, recall this Gilfan's idea, which I hope uh, will uh, play in future yet. All best of you, but uh, I uh, uh, very happy that uh, uh, we have this uh, conference. Bye.